It's Erica here and welcome to my channel. I'm here to give you a review on the new Alpha Fly 3 Proto. These retailed at $285 on the Nike website. These are running shoes aimed and targeted towards marathon runners and everyday athletes. Although I'm not a running shoe expert, I did want to try these out, especially after uh, all the like hype I heard about these, um, after the three amazing athletes that broke records in these. So I just wanted to try them out for myself. Um, these are a size 12. Uh, they sold out immediately. Uh, these are a women's size 12. So I'm an 11. Um, there was no 11s left, so I just went for what there was. And actually, the size 12 is not that bad. It wasn't like super uh, big on me, even though it's a size up. But I don't want to say don't go true to size because from other uh, research I've done and reviews, a lot of people did go true to size. I just happen to um, only have this choice to get them. But they're not terrible. Like they're not, there's no slippage. Um, there's a little room left, but nothing crazy. Um, I ran in these just to try them out. And yeah, I didn't feel any type of discomfort with that. But I want to say I would stick true to size. It's one of those things if you could just try it out. Um, they did sell out, like I said, immediately. So I don't know if you have the option of being able to try them out or whatnot. But yeah, these are a size women's 12. So these derived from the Alpha Fly 1 and the Alpha Fly 2. The Alpha Fly, they got a lot of love on those. A lot of... Um, everyday athletes and marathon runners really uh, like those then the two and now here we have the three um, another thing for marathon runners or other athletes that are going to be interested in these I personally didn't own the other two pair but from research I've done uh, with these a lot of people have hyped up about how they don't get blisters you know after a long period of time of walking and running you know you do get blisters especially when you're breaking in a shoe but with these I did hear and uh, see that they did not have that issue so that's just another little information I want to give on these so look at the box we have the Nike logo with the orange stripe right here and then on the inside a message from Bill Bowerman a shoe must be three things. It must be light, comfortable, and it's got to go the distance. Bill Bowerman. And then on the paper, we have this cool little detail of different uh, time stamps on here. It's pretty neat. Really detailed with these. So they did come with this neat little bag right here with the Nike logo and Nike Racing. So you could just grab and go with these. So these are steep in price, but once you try them on, you'll see why. And I don't know if a lot of people do know this, um, may, uh, some of you may or may not know, but when you enter a marathon, there is a fee for that. Also, if it's out of town, you got to pay for a hotel or Airbnb. So even though the price is big on these, um, you know, their mindset is like if you're already investing in entering the marathon, also uh, paying for a hotel, you might as well invest in some nice shoes. Um, you know, if you're going to do it, do it right. These were first noticed when marathon world record holder Elude Kapoje won at the 2003 Berlin Marathon in September. And then two weeks later, Kelvin Kipton broke the hold marathon record. And on the same day in the women's race, Safan Hassan set the women's course record. So that popularized these shoes. You know, three great athletes winning, breaking records with these. So that's why uh, I also believe that they sold out 
Um, everyone was curious about them. They released earlier January of this year, 2024. So these are innovative when it comes to the technology they used on these. They did a lot of research, put a lot of effort on these. These have double air zoom, a full length carbon fiber plate that helps you propel forward. They also have a heel to toe zoom X foam in the midsole to help cushion impact. And they're also very light. Um, they have a soft autumn knit on the upper, making them very breathable, especially when you're running long periods of time. Um, usually when you jog or run, especially in marathons, you are going to be running uh, constantly. So they made them as comfortable as possible. They had a lot of Nike uh, testers use these. So with that, I'm going to show you a little insight. There's a lot of details on these shoes. There is a V62 on the collar that indicates it was the 62nd iteration of Autumn Knit for its upper. And then on the number on the midsole that reads 21200-23, that just signifies a Nike wear tester that put most miles on it. This is for the women's. And then on the men's, there's the 20820 4 and like I said, that's just the Nike tester that used it and had the most miles on it. So they had those little nice details. And then on the back tag right here, it says Nike Racing. And on the tongue, there's a stitch of an AF for Alpha Fly. And then a small little stitch of a Nike sign on, on the uh, upper toe box. <music> With that being said, is this a cop or a drop? Let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Thanks for watching and enjoy.